Coming up next on News 8, Democratic leaders arrive in Tulsa as President Reagan stands his ground on tax reform. In sports, viva la tennis. We'll have the exciting highlights from today's women's French Open finals. It was a warm day today, but it was 109 degrees like it was in Garden City, Kansas. But I'll have to complete the weather details next. Well, the weather was perfect for a road race today. We'll take you to the annual Model T Hill Climb in Tulsa a little later in the newscast. It's all coming up next on News 8. The people standing before you are real. They have come here for one thing, justice. They seek that justice from one man, the judge, in the one and only real courtroom on television, the People's Court. I just got mad. I was scared. I was frightened. She then turned and threw a right hook at my face. The police came out and they said, what happened? How could my furniture be missing out of that place? You've got to have the proof. The People's Court. Eight's your place for the People's Court. Weekdays at 4.30. TV in Tulsa, Catherine Bliss, meteorologist Travis Meyer, and Jack Buns on sports. This is News 8 at 5. Good evening. It's a big night for Tulsa County Democrats. Party leaders have flown in from Washington. Coming up next, they're praying for rain in Florida, but Tulsa enjoyed sunny skies for today's Model T hill climb. We'll take you there. Meteorologist Travis Meyer joins us now. And Travis, did we break any records today? Uh, not here, but just out to the west of us, and everybody just uh, probably saw my little temperature map, and that was some very warm weather just out to the west of us. We'll see enough hot weather tomorrow, but it won't be breaking this any records. So. As hot as it's going to get for a couple of days, in other words. Uh, probably not. Okay. <laughs> the bad news. In northeast Oklahoma, well, everybody was glad that the rain ended, but after thinking about it twice, I'm not so sure. Those temperatures really shot up there, especially with no clouds and a lot of sun. Temperatures this afternoon generally ranging in the 90s across much of Oklahoma. In fact, a couple century marks. So we'll be looking at the current temperatures in just a minute. But currently out at Tulsa International Airport, we have 92 degrees. Relative humidity a little bit high, but not all that bad, 51%. Wind out of the south right now, 14 miles per hour. Makes it a fairly comfortable breeze and the pressure's at 29.85 and that is falling. Well, today's high officially 94 degrees. That's hot. Morning low 70 degrees. Now normals are a high of 86 and a low of 66. So again, we're back to above normal temperatures. The record high 104 degrees. That was set in 1911. Record low 52 degrees, 1915. Today, no precipitation. June way up there, of course, with all that rain that we received this past week, 403. Normal is 457 for an entire month. Sunrise will be at 6 06 and the sun will be setting at 840. Well, this is the way it looks nationally. We do have high pressure dominating, not really that many clouds to speak of. Most of the clouds are sitting out into portions of New Mexico, also along a cool frontal boundary that's sitting up in Nebraska and also eastern sections of Minnesota. Most all of the clouds, in fact, uh, really that we should mention are probably up in Canada and uh, in extreme northwestern portions of Canada with a new storm system just moving inland out there. But in our area, we have fair to partly cloudy skies, a few high thin clouds across eastern sections of Oklahoma. Out to the west of us, we see a few little white blobs sitting around and those are new thunderstorms that are developing this afternoon. In fact, a couple of those very heavy around Boise City in the Panhandle sections of Oklahoma. Those thunderstorms drifting to the northeast. Here's another little bright white area in southwest Nebraska. Here's another one in northwest Iowa. Those thunderstorms developing right along a cool front for the most part and that's uh, what we have going on is trough of low pressure moving to the east. The cold front up to the north of us. Now temperatures are in the 70s and 80s this afternoon to the north of that front. Get to the south of the front and it gets very toasty and we'll talk about that in just just a second. We do have a tornado watch until 11 o'clock tonight. Now that's for areas well up to the northeast of us in Wisconsin, also Lake Superior, northern portions of Lake Michigan, and also uh, upper Michigan, uh, the state of Michigan, I should say. Very warm temperatures were across our area. How warm were they? Well, this is as of 4 o'clock. Temperatures generally ranging in the 90s across much of our area. 88 degrees, one of the cooler temperatures to be found. That was down at Fayetteville. Warmest temperatures that I could find, 109 degrees this past hour. That was in Garden City, Kansas. That might make the national high temperature 
temperature the way it looks. Even temperatures up into the low 100s in portions of Nebraska. So just a hot afternoon with those southwesterly winds and dry air across that area. Well, that's the way it looks for thunderstorms for tonight into early tomorrow. Most of that activity out to the west of us. A few isolated severe thunderstorms up to the north of us. And of course, we have that tornado watch in effect up there. That makes uh, common sense, I guess. Isolated thunderstorms, there could be severe uh, down into portions of Florida. And they need some rain after all that hot weather. This is the way it looks for Sunday. Still hot across much of our area. That cool front starting to move closer to our area. By Monday, we should see some thunderstorms. Now, late tomorrow afternoon into Monday will be our best chance of those thunderstorms and maybe slightly cooler temperatures. Our forecast for tonight is going to be calling for partly to mostly fair skies. Look for an overnight low dropping down to a mild temperature reading right into the low 70s. And those temperatures will continue to be uh, fairly mild through the period, really, uh, for overnight lows. South winds 5 to 10. Then for tomorrow, sunny and hot. Slight chance of a late afternoon thunderstorm. Best chance will be to the north and west, 95 degrees. Then tomorrow night, partly cloudy and warm. Few scattered thunderstorms again. Overnight low around 70, 72 degrees. An extended forecast, really not all that bad. It'll be on the warm side, but it looks like a scattered afternoon thunderstorms through the period. They'll be widely scattered, so do not let that wetten our forecast. I guess we add uh, humid to that sunny and hot for tomorrow. A uh, little bit. It really won't be all that bad, especially when you compare it to this past week, because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Travis, thanks. Right. When we return, Jack will fill us in on all of today's sports, from horse racing and the pro basketball playoffs to some hard-hitting kickboxing, a little something for everyone next in sports. Boston here off the miss. Here we go on the Boston. Fun. Then if the Celtics win that one, it'll force a seventh game. That'll be also in Boston on Tuesday night. Enough with the sunglasses. You know, a lot of punches were thrown in the NBA series, none last night. But, you know, all those punches, nothing like those thrown last night at the Tulsa Armory. A lot of kickboxing. The U.S. welterweight champion. You're not worried about your job. Sunglasses on the air. <laughs> it's bright in here. It's hot outside. It's cool. did, did the boss know about this? <laughs> no. Okay, maybe a phone call after the show. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Finally tonight, a show that's blossoming for the public. It's the annual Orchard Show at the Tulsa Garden Center about a dozen orchids. They Easy all, for you to yeah, say. Yeah, right. <laughs> they all look the same. That's all the news. We'll see you at 10 tonight.